Hey everybody, probably all of you know where to find avionic compartment on A320 aircrafts and what is it good for, but if no, I'll try to quickly explain. Avionic compartment is located on the front section of the aircraft, under cockpit and under first galley, and it's divided into four sections. Inside of each section you can find vital computers and uh, electrical components which are responsible for running of the airplane. We can basically refer it as a brain of the plane. And I guess all of you know that every computer creates some amount of the heat and we need to cool it somehow. And for that we have here avionic equipment ventilation system. This system works in a different configuration, uh, depends what is the outside temperature and if aircraft is on the ground or in the air. And today I would like to focus on uh, one part of this equipment and that's a blower and extractor fan. These two devices are responsible for distribution of the air in between the computers. And I need to inspect extractor fan, so I will try to show you how to do it. As a first, we need to open safety and tag all required circuit breakers. After that, we need to get access to the extract fan. Both blower and extract fan are located in aft avionic compartment, but we'll focus only on extract fan, which is next to the door. As a first, I remove clamps from flexible sleeve. On flexible sleeve, you can find two or four clamps, depends on the configuration of your aircraft. I record removal on the one aircraft and installation on the other, so that's why you will gonna see me install four clamps instead of two. Then I need to move flexible sleeve to release the fan. Then I remove the clamp, which connect the fan to the lower pipe. After that, it's time to remove connector. And now all what's remaining is to remove the clamps with which the fan is attached to the structure. And since fan is out, I need to perform inspections, which means that I need to inspect propeller. I need to check if everything is in good condition, if there is no grinding noise, and if everything is fine. I need to clean compartment, remove the old seal, and install the new one. New o-ring is in place and I can proceed with the installation of the fan. On the fan you can find a small arrow which need to point down. This is direction of the airflow. I want to be really sure that the fan properly sits on the bottom duct. That's why I'm installing the clamp which hold the fan on the duct as a first. And of course, don't forget to check if connector will fit on the fan because when you install all three clamps, you will not really have possibility to turn the fan. So, check it first. Clamp on the bottom is properly torqued and now I will proceed with the two clamps which hold the fan to the structure.
And of course, both clamps need to be properly torqued. And by the way, this torque value will not find an AMM, but on the clamps themselves. Now it's time for flexible sleeve. Pull it down from the duct, but be sure that it covers both valve and the duct. And now I need to secure the flexible sleeve on position by clamps. And as I mentioned before, installation and removal was recorded on two different airplanes. On this exact one, I need to install four clamps. And since all four of them are properly installed, all that's remaining is to install connector and perform the test. So we need to move to the cockpit. Of course, I need to close all pulled CBs. After that, I need to switch on the airplane and check if the fan works. If yes, I'll proceed with the testing of emergency equipment. And what does it mean? I need to simulate failure of the fans by pulling of the CBs. This will activate logic, which will trigger the horn and the light in the 108 view after approximately 30 seconds from the failure. This way, airplane inform crew and the ground personnel that something is wrong. Of course, you can switch off this horn by pressing a reset button. Since this function is OK, I can close all CBs and perform test of avionic ventilation system. And of course, this test will check all functions of the system. And since test is OK, I'll move back to avionic compartment where I will collect all my tools and perform the check. And since everything looks good, I can close the avionic compartment. That's all. This was video about extract fun. Hopefully you learned something new. If yes, give me a like. It really helps me to grow. Uh, if you have any questions regarding this topic, please write them down in the comments below. And all what's remaining is to say thank you for your time. My name is Tomasz. This was Aircraft Maintenance with Zetor. And I'll see you next one. Bye. You can see the riding on the pavement. Young kids that grow up in basements. Online, a whole new generation. I'm a make mine, so you better go take it. Always they need a new replacement. Decentralized, can't contain it. We're changing lives, yeah, upgrading. Call it suicide of the older generation. Oh, keeps you up at night, yeah. Maybe.